Hi friends, I'm Mansoor Siddiqui, SQL Server DBA. Today we are going to discuss about bulk copy program utility, also called BCP utility, to import and export data in SQL Server. Bulk copy program is a powerful command line utility to import and export data in SQL Server database. If you do not have much knowledge about database commands, then also you can use it easily. BCP utility is very fast in operation which can save lots of time for processing as compared to other method of bulk import and export of data. We'll see how to use this utility and different useful switches involved in it. So for that, uh, first of all, open Windows command prompt. So this is my uh, Windows command prompt type BCP which is bell copy program enter now you can see uh, this is usage BCP then database table or query uh, this is uh, the name uh, which you have to use this is actually a syntax then in out or query out you have to use this option if you want to import data or export data or if you want to uh, export data with query and type of format and data file you have to uh, specify a uh, full location of the file then uh, these are switches or uh, you can say arguments yeah uh, so few uh, are uh, very important which is used normally this is hyphen capital t trust for a uh, use for trusted connection then uh, you have hyphen small c character type then you have hyphen x generate xml fi uh, format file then you have hyphen small f format file and these these are the switches which you can uh, refer have a new uh, error file and all these details so we'll take uh, one example and we'll use a uh, database adventure box 2012 for demonstration what you have to do at uh, windows command prompt to type bcp then your database name I'm taking Adventure Works 2012. Type the name properly, no spell mistakes, otherwise, it will give you error. Then your schema name, DPO, then your table name. I'm taking example of TBL underscore person. Then, if you want to export data then you have to type out if you want to import data then you can type in right now i am exporting data to disk on file so i'll use out then specify your location where you want to put or uh, export your uh, data file so i'll use this location c colon backward slash bcp demo i have this folder created on c drive bcp demo and you can spec specify the name of the table or file okay so i'll keep the name as it is of exported file tbl underscore person and I want this file as .txt you can give dot .dat file or uh, other format of file hyphen t this is trusted connection hyphen c for character type so I will show you that I am generating I am exporting this tbl underscore person table data into this file in txt format on this file path c colon bcp demo folder and file name is this i'll show you my uh, bcp demo folder 
this is my bcp c drive bcp demo folder right now there is no file this folder is empty so i'll press enter now you can see starting copy 106 rows copied okay it will give you some information about network packet size clock time millisecond 47 and average 2255 rows per second on an average it will work so it is very very fast now we'll go to our location on the disk this is the file which is generated I'll just open it now you can see all the data data are available okay these rows plus 100 rows 106 records so this is uh, one uh, example which you have taken I will see more example I'll show you uh, the examples which I'm going to take first we have seen export data with trusted connection then we'll see export data with mixed mode authentication then export data with mixed mode authentication without password prompt then import data with trusted connection we are importing data here okay then export data with a specific columns of the table then export data with a specific rows in a table then we'll create XML file format okay so we have already seen this to save our time I'll just copy and paste and we'll explain you okay BCP adventure works this is database name schema name and your table name out so I'm taking example on my same folder C colon BCP demo tbl underscore person dot txt hyphen C then hyphen U this is for hyphen U you can see for username then hyphen S hyphen S is for server name this is hyphen S server name and you can give this is for a hyphen U SA this is SA is a login okay login name and this is server name is Mansoor which is my server name if you uh, if you're using your uh, if you're using your server then you have to specify your server name okay so here I'll just show you with dot dot file I want to generate dot dot file then just enter it is prompting for password because I haven't mentioned password okay with hyphen P I can mention password if you'll refer this BCP uh, switches this hyphen capital P is a password so password I'll just give for SA enter okay starting copy 106 rows copied network packet size and clock time millisecond 1 and average rows per second you can see this much rows so we'll go to our, our file location we'll say this dot dot file is generated this table underscore person dot dot file is created okay now if suppose uh, we have directly uh, given and it was prom prompting for password what if you want system not to ask for password so you have to pass this hyphen P used for password then you have to mention your password here then enter it will copy your data it will export your data directly without prompting for password I can see okay this is the dot dot file if you want I'll just delete it and recreate it okay with the password that much record this file is created here now we'll see 
export data with mixed mode authentication without password pranay which we have already seen right now now import data with trusted connection now this is quite interesting because we are in importing data from data file to our database now you can see bcp adventure works 2012 dbo dot this tbl underscore person info this is a new table without any data in it we have just created a structure of this because we are using in which means we are importing data from file location data file tbl underscore person dot txt to this table tbl underscore person info okay and this file tbl underscore person dot txt is on c drive bcp demo folder this one okay this file i'll just open it it has 106 records okay and we'll import into database in this file tbl underscore person info so i'll show you in adventure work 2012 okay this is person info this is tbl underscore person i just want to show you that if you want to import data from file location to your database uh, table then you should have same table structure to avoid any error see this is the table which we have exported to file business id title first name middle name last name and country okay i'll show you see one two three four five six one two three four five six and the same we have created in tbl underscore person info business id title first name middle name last name and country okay and I will show you I have selected this table and uh, right now this table is empty no records in it okay so tbl underscore person info there is no record we are going to use import data with trusted connection so I'll just enter starting copy 106 rows copied and we'll go to database this is tbl person info i'll just refresh it okay and i will select it select top 1000 rows now you can see 106 rows we have imported copied into database from our file okay it's quite interesting very easy again says saves our lots of time now it will uh, export data with a specific column now for this uh, we have to use query out uh, option and uh, in this you need basic knowledge of SQL query at least you can uh, write select command so in this example suppose I need uh, select first name last name from tbl underscore person okay I want only first name last name from this tbl underscore person table and I won't query out which means I am exporting data I am copying data from database to tbl underscore person dot txt okay so existing file I'll just delete it All right now there is no file with the name tbl underscore person dot txt and this is with trusted connection and character type so in our output file we'll see only first name and last name I'll just enter starting copy 106 rows copied okay now 
I'll go to my location file location table underscore person I'll just open it now you can see first name and last name this file is generated okay Uh, we have selected uh, first name and last name which is columns which is column okay now we'll take example of export data with a specific rows from a table so I'll just type my BCB command then in quotes double quote select start from adventure works this is sql query okay dot db or dot tbl person where first name is equal to gigi and last name equal to matthew query out i am copying data from database to file to data file on my disk and the name of the file is tbl underscore person underscore rows dot txt with trusted connection and character type now I'll enter it started copied uh, two rows copied okay I'll just go to my file location this one I'll open it to records okay now our uh, last example is creating XML file format BCP space your database name dot schema name dot table name okay format null this is used for uh, uh, format files half and t trusted connection character type hyphen C hyphen X as we have already seen for format files then hyphen F okay I'll show you hyphen F for format file and hyphen X for generate XML format file okay then your uh, file location C drive BCP demo and backward slash tbl underscore person dot XML we are uh, curating XML file enter now you'll get uh, directly you won't get any information uh, after entering this uh, this uh, C uh, colon C prompt will come you can directly go to your file location and uh, you can see this XML file is generated you can uh, right click and open it now this file with whole details available here okay so now we have completed uh, our uh, bulk copy program uh, session okay if you like it kindly uh, subscribe to my channel or you can go to my uh, website sqlserverlog.com I have already uh, given all the details of bulk copy program okay with the images a step by step process what you have to do how you can uh, create files import and export data with BCP utility okay if you like it you can uh, subscribe to my channel and if you have any query you can send to me thank you